I am really excited to share with you that we're going to be starting a brand new family-centered wellness program. It's something that's been inspired by this year that I have really been focusing on family, about togetherness. I have tried to make sure that I'm reconnecting with my husband, with my kids, where I'm spending more time with them unplugged than I am on a phone or glued in front of the TV. And really, nowadays, this is something that's so important. I've noticed this with my kids that they're quick to grab a device, whether it is to play a game on an iPad or a phone or to be glued to Netflix or to be searching the internet to buy something. And this is something that has become the norm for kids and adults. And I want to change that, that I want the time that was spent with my family to be something that's enjoyable so that we are setting goals together so that we're spending time connecting because I've learned with my teenagers that they're connecting with other people their age over the phone, over Snapchat, over Instagram, and they're so involved in other people's lives watching them that they're not really that good at interacting with people face to face. And this has become a problem. I know that you can relate that I'm sure that you see people, uh, whether it be at restaurants, in waiting rooms, um, even driving, that they're glued to their phones. I can't tell you how many times I've stopped at a stoplight and looked over and seen people on their phone that literally in that instant that there's a stop sign or a stoplight that they're on their phones. I see people out at restaurants and I've been guilty too where you see a husband and wife or a family and, and we're talking about kids that are six, seven years old to people who are the age of grandparents that they're glued to their phone and it's really breaking down that feel of togetherness where people will feel isolated and that's why there's so many people who are depressed who uh, feel disconnected and really we're not designed to. And I know it's been so easy with fear setting in, with people getting hurt, with um, difference, uh, differences of opinions. Uh, people have just started to distance themselves more and more from people and they've started watching other people as lives go by on reality shows or on you know, Instagram or live feeds. And then they start to feel like they don't add up and they're not adequate. And so I know that we can make a change starting in our household. And if that is having that goal of togetherness, um, then we can start to make a difference. And so I'm encouraging you as a parent or as an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent to challenge your family members to get up off the couch, to get their nose out of the device and to get moving. If you have 15 or 20 minutes a day, that's all you need. We have a program that requires a partner. So you can't do this solo. And this forces you to live in alignment with how we were created. So all you need is a partner. This can be a mom and dad with a kid, sibling to sibling, aunts and uncles, grandparents, caregiver, whatever it is. But we're talking about providing something for you to do with a partner because you need to learn to lean in in life that you need to be able to trust other people and I hear all the time people saying like oh no the worst thing to do is to trust people which I do agree that it is easy to get hurt that there are people out there who do not have the best of intentions but my goal for my children is to teach them awareness so that they know how to, to have a pretty good judge of character to follow their gut to not get in, in precarious situations that could lead to getting hurt physically or emotionally, but also to also drop that guard so that they don't feel like the only way to live is on their own. And I see people saying that I want to change that. I want to change the dynamics of who I'm around and, and, and the mindset of others. So I was thinking that we would run this group and this was based on, you know, Rebel and I have been doing this program together. Um, we set goals where he knows that my goal is to get 10,000 steps on my Fitbit a day. And last night I fell short. I got 7,000 steps, but we went for this really long walk together. We observed nature. We looked at the horses and, and we took the dog for a walk and we messed with cows and we looked at the clouds. We fed the fish. We did something together. And I know that maybe you don't live uh, somewhere that has all those, but he knew what the goal was. And at first when I told him we're going to go for a walk, he was like, I don't want to do that. And I was like, no, there's not going to be any 
time on your iPad unless we do this. And he kept asking what my goal was, why it was. I said, this is what we're doing. And so I'm encouraging you to take the lead and make the decision for your family because you as an adult are bigger, smarter, have more experience, have better you know, judgment at where you want your life to be, but to take the lead and make the decision that you're going to get more active. And so what we're going to be doing is creating this space and I'm going to provide you guys with the tools to help focus on nutrition, help focus on setting goals together as a family and doing things to make your life better. That I know when I got started on my own health and fitness journey and I started to want to provide a better life for my family and to live more intentionally, life got better. Our relationships got stronger. Our our beliefs got, got better. We became more aligned with what our purpose was. And so this group is going to be focusing on togetherness, about family, about focusing on gratitude, positive affirmations, and we're going to do a book of the month for kids and adults, and this is going to be a movement as a family, and I just feel like our kids could use some time being unplugged, spending time with their caregiver, with their loved ones, and to really focus on making this not just about a holiday season where you're, it's about gift giving and go, 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 go and rushing from family to family, but taking time to enjoy time together, to get into better habits so that we're going into the next year and this is going to sustain itself past the holidays, past the, 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 the holiday break. And this is going to become a way of life, like it's become a way of life for us. And really, this is going to make a change, a change in the way you see life, the way you interact together. And so one of the things that Rebel and I do is, there's this book, it's called Together is Better. Simon Sinek is the author. I've read several of his book uh, books about finding your why and finding what your purpose is on living life. And this is kind of a, a, an introduction for kids. Together is better. And there's also a book called Energy Bus that I read. And now there's a book called the Energy Bus for Kids. So this is going to be something that if you decide to join this family initiative that I'm going to be hosting, I will send you either this book or the Energy Bus for you to read with your children. I encourage this. This is These are very simple books, but I want you to change the mindset. I see so many com- people complaining about the millennials or the next generation. And you know what? Complaining doesn't do anything. Taking action and executing ideas are what's going to make a difference. And I want to leave a legacy behind. I want my children to have a better way of thinking, to be able to help the people that they're around. And I want you to be able to do the same thing for your kids so that we can leave this earth a better place. We're going to have a program that you can follow with a family friendly, family approved, kid approved recipes. And it comes with this ball, which you use, which is the only piece of equipment you need. Rebel was so excited because he actually pumped this up on his own. And that actually caused him to become inspired to go find all of the balls, his football, his sister's basketball, and to inflate them. And so it got him moving. It got him doing things, thinking of others. Something so simple as receiving a ball that needed to be inflated. And we're also going to provide this healthy snack to you that comes in chocolate or um, strawberry banana. And this is something that picky adults and picky kids can can add to their diet. And it comes with a calendar that Rebel is super excited about. We actually printed it off because we have the ability to download this uh, information as well. But this is a hard copy. So this is a 30-day schedule. He loves to check it off because there's a space where you can check off when you did your workout with your partner and also when you did something healthy. And he's always constantly thinking about that. And this, these are the things we want to cultivate because let me tell you, I hear from adults who are in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and early 60s where they talk about their eating habits. And guess what? I'm not big on this because I did it way too long, but they blame their parents. Their parents had these eating habits. Their parents didn't cook. Their parents served this. Their parents did that. So let's make sure that we make a difference now so that we don't get blamed later on for at least their eating habits or their 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 lifestyle. So I am inviting you and urging you that if you don't want to take the time to invest in yourself and your health, do it for your children. Because the worst thing that I've seen is regret. I have plenty of it and people I know have plenty of it. Make the decision to do something for yourself that's going to help your kids so that later on you don't have to see them struggle with feelings of insecurity 
disease or illness or things that you knew you could have taken control and changed for them. So I invite you to join us, our family, in an initiative to become better versions of ourselves and create a lifestyle that's going to foster a healthy future for us that's going to last a long time.